Who gonna check you, boo? Nobody. <laughs> hey, peeps. So I am here with a styling video. I told y'all that I'm gonna start doing styling videos because it don't matter what you buy and you don't know how to put that on, period. So let's go ahead and get straight into the video. I already have on my first outfit and I am styling pretty little thing items. Now this is from an older haul so there might not be that many links but this is just for inspo purposes. So if you have anything similar then just try to match it to this or any of the outfits if you do like them. So here we are <laughs> with the first outfit. So you already know it's about the details so we're about to get into it. So first of all, we already have a real different dynamic type of cut and structure to just the top alone. And then of course we get into some prints. So this is of course really good for the fall or even winter, but you know, we can do whatever we want to do all year round. So I would wear this even like just to a little date night, dinner night with your girls or with your men either one it's definitely giving some night vibes evening vibes five six o'clock type of situation so here's this and this is the pretty little thing item the top is the pretty little thing item so i just hit you with that 360 now i have this purse now I only did purses for accessories, so you know, I'm taking these clothes on and off for y'all, so no jewelry or anything like that. But I think that jewelry specifically is something that, you know, first of all has to do with what you have and what you're more comfortable with. Some people like big dangly earrings, some people like small studs, small hoops. So it's really up to you how to amp up the look even more. So I don't think that's really something that I need to show you if y'all really wanna see the full, full, full looks, just thumbs up. I'll do something like that in the future or follow me on Instagram when I actually take pictures of these. You will be able to see them on the gram. So I'm gonna back up so you guys can see the pants. Hopefully I'm still in focus. So boom with the corduroys and then you see the heels. I'm gonna definitely do a little close up of the heels for you guys in a second. But these pants are from Target and these are like, I don't know if you would call these corduroy but that's what I'm calling it. Either way, it's like in the same vein. So get you some corduroy. So then you have some texture, you have some lining. It's kind of like ribbed in a way. And then of course it has pockets. No pockets in the back. I think they're fake, yeah. Fake pockets in the back. Looks very flattering on the butt if you do ask me. And also what's making it flattering is that it's high-waisted, so mm, these are just so cute. Like I think this outfit is so bomb for like dinner. And then we have this purse, which is also adding some texture cause it's fur. I got this from Macy's a long, long time ago. But uh, recently even Brandon Blackwood had some purses that had fur on it. So definitely there are some options to where you can get something similar and probably even more structured and you know, more like trendy right now. Also just look at some affordable sites like Pretty Little Thing or Shein or anything like that. And let me go ahead and show you guys the heels. The heels, this is a pointed toe. Now I think a point, pointed toe is so classy. So if you can deal with a pointed, pointed toe, which I don't think they're uncomfortable. I used to think that they were super uncomfortable, but not really. So yeah, I would definitely recommend. These are old, so don't pay attention to any imperfections but then they have this like crisscross so once again with the details so a lot of times what's gonna make a fit are the details so make sure you're paying attention to structure paying attention to you know the patterns paying attention to colors and how you can mix and match and things like that and I just think that this is such a cute outfit overall so if you have anything that you can throw together that looks like this please do because you're gonna be looking bomb so let's go ahead and get into the next look Okay, so I am back with another pretty little thing top. So this is one of those like screeny tops. Let me get closer actually so you guys can see it. And I really love this. This is just so different. If you were to just wear it as a shirt, you would need something to cover your nipples. But because they are covered by this dress, you don't need it. And here's the back. This dress is from Shein. I actually did a recent Shein haul and it might still be available. So if you really like this dress, I'll have everything that is still available linked down below. 
I'm not too sure about this shirt. This is really, really old. But once again, just inspo. So if you have a screeny shirt, and then even if you have a dress or a dress that you want to get, but you're not the type of girl that's too comfortable with having her boobs out all like that, then what you could do is put on like a screeny shirt or even like a little sweater shirt or anything like that and just put it on with the dress and then boom, you're covered. And this is just a different way to also wear it for the girls that, you know, don't care to have their boobs out. So you wore something like this, you wore this regular, and now you wanna wear it again, but you don't wanna look exactly the same. You wanna switch it up. You know, we're in this whole world where you shouldn't wear things again, like no repeat outfits, but how you deal with that is by switching it up and giving it a different feel. So that's exactly what I've done here by putting this screen shirt underneath and it has like a print. You don't have to have a print. You could just have a solid one. So then the screeny type of material is just like an added detail. But then of course, if you wanna do even more with a print like this, even more detail is added. And then we have the brown dress. Ooh. Ooh. And then I just have a nude heel. Really basic, not much to show. And then we have a nudie, like, mm, like a beige, like a deep beige, kind of like more on the browner side type of purse. And yeah, I think this is really cute and I love this. I wish I had somewhere to wear it, but I don't, of course. But that's okay. Maybe I'll just take pictures for the gram one of these days. Let me know if you like this outfit down below. Also, just let me know when the video's done, you see all the outfits, tell me which one is your favorite. Okay, so here is the next fit. And this one is definitely more on the casual side. Every time we go out the house, we don't need to be all the way dressed up. Just to be going to the grocery store or something like that. So I think this is a nice little, oh, I'm about to go run errands, about to go to the mall type of outfit. But you look, it's giving, it's giving artsy fartsy. It's giving, you might go to the museum today. That's what it's giving. So, oh, my hair is kind of all over the place. Don't mind my hair, y'all. Y'all know I'm taking these clothes on and off. <laughs> but yeah, so this outfit, I already had this shirt or actually it's like a button up, oversized button up. It's actually like vintage and then it's custom with some lyrics by the artist P Black from Columbus, Ohio. So yeah, this is custom, got it a long time ago and or not custom but like limited edition and the pretty little thing item that i have here is the shirt once again but this is an oversized shirt and it's just a plain like nude shirt and nothing to it so then you like dress it up with all the other details in your outfit and this is like corduroy i don't know if you would say this is corduroy but you let me know. This is the material. So once again, just the fabrics also add detail. And I just think that's so bomb. Like anytime you can get something from an artist that you really appreciate with their lyrics and things like that, you should definitely invest in a piece like this. Like I would never, ever, ever give this away. <laughs> like I will have this till the end of time. And then what I have is just this black purse and I will take my shoe off this one I can actually take off because it's just a little slide so you see that there's pink right here with the letters and then I have some pink slides and then I have this sheet and purse so black on the soles black here and I mean a black purse you could just throw that on with anything really but yes I do have it to where it can match so I think this is such a cute little throw on outfit and a way to easily dress up a shirt dress with like a little oversized jacket uh was this button up blazer especially a blazer will truly dress it up but you still are effortless because all you did was throw on an oversized shirt so let's go ahead and get into the next fit and we're back so i have on this pretty little thing top it's crisscross and it's a one piece so as you can see it's a one piece the back does not have the crisscross And it definitely holds your boobs up. Like it's got me up in here tight, okay? Like it's real tight. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I need to situate it differently. I don't know. But it's not uncomfortable or anything like that. It's just, 
is definitely pulling me up. <laughs> I love this top because I just think that it's really unique, it's really different, and it's like a spin on like a black shirt. Like black, black just gets boring to me, and this definitely makes a black top for me more spicy and that's what I need if I'm gonna be wearing black it got to be on another level so that's exactly what this shirt is giving and then all I did was pair it with some misguided cigarette pants so yeah here are the cigarette pants in the full outfit so even though we're wearing black the pants definitely make it unique because we add some color in so I think this lime green is really perfect for the spring which is coming back in just a second aren't y'all ready for winter to be over like really winter just started like winter but it's been cold it's been real cold without the snow it's still been cold so i'm ready for spring to be here and this is definitely an outfit that i would wear to brunch brunch on a rooftop brunch on a rooftop with your man girl you better you better get you a little shirt like this and some cigarette pants to class it up. And that's the other thing, it balances each other out because these pants are high-waisted. And in general, like, it's not showing too much of your stomach or skin in the first place as far as like this area goes. And then you just hit them with that high waist. Ooh, that's so cute. I'm looking in the mirror, y'all, just so y'all know. But I think this is just so cute. Oh, I love this outfit and then just for the purse what I have done is paired it with a black purse which I think is so classy got this from forever 21 on clearance a l nice little clutch with just a little detail class it on up and honestly this being a little bit matte just pointing it out matches with the matte of the heels that I'm about to show y'all in a second and here is the shoe that I have on. So I just wanted to actually like take it off so you guys could see it. These are really, really old as well. So I won't have a link to them. They are the brand Audrey Brook. It has a bit of a platform to it. So it definitely makes it different. And then just the different shape of the actual um, heel definitely makes it real different. So I really appreciate that and just all the details this is also crisscross like the other heels but it's a little bit more of a matte as far as the fabric and then glossy on the other parts like the lining so that's the heel I have on with this outfit and so you're doing a whole lot like this could give thought real quick okay but when you pair it with some high waist it's it's like dress pants but it's still fun because of the colors that are put into it and then a classy purse and some heels that are really classic, then you really tone it down to where, who gonna check you boo? Nobody, <laughs> let them know. So I really love this outfit. So let's go ahead and get into the next one. Um, let me think, how many more do I have? two two more outfits and then we are done and let me know which outfit was your favorite and make sure you just pause for one second and make sure you like comment and subscribe and share the video with somebody else that likes hauls or outfit styling videos because there's going to be way more to come so make sure you join the road to 2k we are on the road to 2k 5k is the giveaway so make sure you do all those things and let's go ahead and get into the next outfit okay so i don't know what it is but i feel like i'm giving thick 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 maybe it's just me i don't know i feel like i look real miniature in this outfit it's, it's definitely playing up to the 411 that's all of me <laughs> because I look small in this outfit I guess it's just you know how they say certain things look good or or elongate or shorten I guess this outfit just makes me look my size <laughs> um, but I love this outfit as like a casual outfit but I mean it's really not that casual I guess because shoulders are out stomachs kind of out but mm, I guess this is like maybe if you're going to a Maybe if you're going to some type of festival or maybe just something that may be outside or maybe where you can fluctuate inside and outside, maybe somewhere where there's like food trucks. So I feel like if you're going to something like that and the shirt is from Pretty Little Thing, so that's what I'm styling. Now I will say that this actually comes up like this, but you can easily just tuck it down and then, Boom, 
if you care about it being up like that, you just want it to show your stomach and not, I feel like it's kind of awkward coming up like that. So I just tucked it in and it's staying like that, no problem. So I think that's a good way to fix that. And then I really don't have a purse that I would want to wear with this because I think the floral in the pants and the floral in the purse, purse from Shein, is just a little bit much, it's a little matchy matchy. So mm, not really something that I would do, but you work with what you got. And then I have these orange shoes. They are some Toms. I just got these recently from Nordstrom. They were on sale, but you know, you can get Toms anywhere, anytime. Uh, full price was $49.95, but I pay $19.98. So look for Toms on sale at Nordstrom, or I mean, really $49 isn't the most, but of course, if we don't got to, we won't <laughs> but yeah those are the shoes that i'm wearing with this so these make it casual as well of course the shirt spices it up gives us a different little feel but then you're not overdoing it by you know wearing like a sandal with a heel or anything like you keeping it comfortable this fit is definitely for some type of event definitely not your casual going to the store type of fit but more of your casual like oh i'm just doing something fun just a little activity for the day nothing so special but i still want to give you still want to give period <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into the last outfit okay so here is the last fit and i think this is the most casual toned down of all the fits where is this skirt from the skirt is from shein so this is the shoe that i'm wearing with this i do believe it's from target it's the mosimo brand so this is just to make it a casual look just throw something on so this is just a very slight outfit it's really not much to it but yeah i just put this shoe with it to keep it casual you know and i think this works so that's the shoe that i have on with this fit so definitely very toned down this is for the modest girl and then i have on this shirt from pretty little thing and it's just like a sweater i mean really not like a regular shirt it's a sweater and it's ribbed and it's a turtleneck now i also will say that this outfit really does need jewelry to kind of ice it up a bit so i definitely would wear like a longer necklace or you could even do like a cuban link but the cuban link mm, i don't know if you want to make it dressy you can or you could just do some dainty necklaces and put on some bracelets a watch and call it a day uh so that's what i would do is keep it cute i honestly would do both to be fair this is me we're talking about <laughs> if you aren't new here then you already know how i do and also, I mean, this might be really good to pair with a nice coat or jacket would help tie the look together. But I think like this is really cute and perfectly okay just the way that it is, even without jewelry. But yeah, this is the last outfit, not much to it. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I was really excited to do this video for you all. I really cannot wait to start styling stuff and make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I will be styling outfits and creating outfits there and just getting really quick clips for you guys to get some inspo from. And also that might be where you see some of the newer things faster but yeah so i really hope you guys did enjoy make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you all in the next video peace